first thing you want to do is shut off your main breaker. Anytime you're going to work on the main panel box, shut that off for safety reasons. Okay, what we're going to show you here is how to hook up a meter, show you how to hook up three different types of breakers, uh, different locations, like in this case we're going to hook up a 15 with the 14-2 wire going into uh, some lights that we're going to hook up later. So we have a 14 going into this breaker. We have this breaker over here, a 30 amp. It could be hooked up to either like a water, water, electric water heater or electric range or a dishwasher or just different, you know, appliances that's going to take a 220. In this case, we're going to use it for, uh, uh, we'll label it differently. We'll label this one refrigerator. Uh, what I do is I label all my wires so that way when you got a bunch of wires here, they're all labeled differently and you know where it's going. So in this case, we got our label here. This one, it's going to be lights. We know it's going to lights. We're also going to hook up an air conditioning uh, with the 40 amp breaker. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to time my bare wires. Don't forget to wear your safety glasses in case you get poked in the eye. You'll have your glasses there. So what we'll do is we'll hook up our grounds first and what we'll do is we'll hook a ball up on one side and we'll put our neutrals on the other side. In this box we have two spots. On some smaller boxes you're only going to have one side panel and, and what I'll do there is I'll hook up the grounds on one side and my neutrals on my lower side. So. We're going to hook up this one here. We'll pick any spot, loosen it up a little bit, put it in, tighten it, and it's down. I try to bury them a little bit towards the back so it gives me room for my other wires in the front. After I do that one, I will hook up my neutrals right here on this side. I try to have my wires nice and straight to show that uh, you got your box in order. So we'll loosen up this one here. We'll put it in. Tighten it down. Bury it a little bit. And also my Take my label out. I know where it's going. I'll hook up this one. That one's done. And my last one for my air conditioning. Now that I got my neutrals in place and my grounds in place, my next step is my power. Okay, we're going to hook up the 15 first. This is going to my lights. Lights, depending on how many lights I have, it's going to depend on how many I want to put on there and what size of wire and what size of breaker. In this case, we have a 14 2, the white one, going into a 15 amp breaker. If you use a 12-2, you have to use a 20 amp breaker. You can take off the breaker, work a lot more comfortable, and put it out here. Loosen it up out here. Put it in. Tighten it down. And it's tied down. Put in your breaker. If 
the wire crosses like this, you can move it anywhere you want to. You can go up and down, adjust it, and make your wire a little cleaner. Okay? And that takes care of that breaker. Okay? Now we're going to hook up our 30 amp. Keep in mind, you will always shut down your power all the time. Okay? So you can turn it off and on, but when you're going to work on it, always play it safe and shut the main down. Okay? Even though you have the main shut down, these two bars right here are still alive. So you must be very careful that you don't touch these bars. If this is going down to Edison down here, and if you were to tap it down here and touch it, you will get zapped. So be very careful in that. Even though you shut them down, don't get too comfortable and start working in here. Always try to keep your hands out here. Work a little safer. That's why I like to pull out my breaker and do it out here. I peel my wire here. And I tie my breakers out, out here where I don't even bother anything in there. Once I have my breakers tied, then I can come to the panel box over here Slip it in, and my breaker's on. I usually have my breakers off when I'm going to turn this on. Now my air. I do the same thing with the air. I pull out my breaker, and I will tie my breaker out here. Does it matter where the black and the red go? No. They're both the same. It's just different color. Tie them. You can put them. Adjust your wires to make them a little cleaner, and you have the breakers on. Off at this point. Now at this point, when you're done and you did all the wires, put your cap back on, and then turn on your breakers, your main breakers. And then you can turn them on individually to see which one is working, you know, on your other side. And that's pretty much about it on your breaker situation. Keep in mind, shut the electricity off when you're always working. Your ground's on one side if you have double side. If you don't, ground's on top, neutral's on bottom. Either way, it doesn't matter. In this case, we have two. So we'll put the grounds on one side, neutral's on the other side. little cleaner work and try to get your wires as straight as possible okay and on the wire size and breakers you could talk about that and the other link where you have the wires and layouts to understand a little bit more of how this is wired to the house okay but you have an idea in the panel box